Hi, this is Howard Nima of We Are Change Connecticut and informedradio.com. Um, I'm just uh, going to do a quick truth uh, talk report here. Some information I saw this morning was real interesting. I watched uh, <clears throat> a movie uh, or on HBO, a documentary, tremendous propaganda piece on uh, Gloria Steinem and the women's movement. And I thought that it was just something I had to bring to people's attention, a couple of interesting factors. Um, anyway, it was called Gloria, um, in her own words. Interestingly enough, it was produced by Sheila Nevins, who also produces uh, Pornocopia, Real Sex, and all the other, like, you know, ways where they demean and um, use, objectify women. So I thought that was really interesting. So I happen to see that today. So that's a good one for everybody to watch. So go, I, I, I'm, you know, I'm imploring everybody to go and watch Gloria in her own words. Uh, remember that Ms. Magazine and the, the way they're spinning this whole thing is really interesting because um, it was funded by the Rockefellers. The entire women's lib movement uh, was a part of a was a part of a, of this whole controlled uh, opposition. It's part of this COINTELPRO that we've been talking about. It seems like the cop topic of conversation or or controlling the opposition um, by getting people that were and really people that wanted to be. Uh, women that were, uh, you know, really wanted to be having equal rights, and certainly uh, women have gained uh, many more rights than they've had. Uh, it's still really not equal, but uh, society ha had to take a, a look at this, but there was still control there, and there was reasoning behind it, because they wanted women to now be taxed. Uh, they wanted you to go to work. They wanted you to destroy the family. And in the video, it was real interesting in the in Gloria and her own words, it was very interesting because there's a moment where somebody, uh, she's on CNN being interviewed, uh, and a caller is, calls her out to this. Interestingly enough, that uh, she's, you know, that this is destroyed. And it turns out that she, of course, was, uh, you know, never was married and things of that nature, which is, you know, everyone's choice, you know. But my point is that the movement, when the reason the Rockefeller Foundation funded Ms. Magazine and the entire movement really backed it, was to break up the family, as they've done pretty successfully. Um, and it's continuing. Um, the breakdown of the family. Uh, also, I haven't done an, an, any news in a very long time. We have a great show tonight, by the way. Anyone that can tune in between 5 to 8 p.m. Saturday, April 14th, we have uh, the former IRS agent and activist uh, Joe Bannister to lend insight into. I mean, it is tax time, ladies and gentlemen, and we should all uh, take a, pay attention to that. So I uh, please tune in on informedradio.com. Also, we'll be streaming live on truthbroadcastnetwork.tv. And we will also have uh, be broadcast through uh, projectfreedom.ws. And thanks to Bobby Kay for assisting me in all my efforts and his, his work with. And I appreciate that very much. Uh, so moving on, I, I cut out some clips of the news. I normally have a better preparation, but it was just so incredible because we have some, some new information that's got to be said. And we also have made some progress. Now, we're making progresses all the time. I'm seeing commercials. Um, I think it's Aquafresh that's selling uh, fluoride-free toothpaste for children so the children don't have to worry about them swallowing because this information is getting out there that it's dangerous. Uh, all of these things, the, the products are being modified, uh, no high fr fructose corn syrup, uh, things of that nature, real sugar uh, as opposed to uh, the fructose corn syrup. And I see other products uh, where they're, again, they're, they make, they're, they're leaning into the understanding that you know we don't want GMO foods and things of that nature. Um, and and poisons such as high fructose corn syrup, aspartame, and other other uh, poisons. Um, interestingly enough, uh, all of these things, when combined, a friend of mine, Mark Epstein, uh, wrote back when I about vaccines and having a small amount of mercury and eating 150,000 times that amount to be lethal. But you have to understand that you're getting mercury from many many sources, and all of these shots, of course, each year in your life they bioaccumulate, and that's what they're telling you the numbers are, Mark. The the, the fact of the matter is that. Um, you know, the, the numbers that, they're, that, that are, are all fraudulent, and I know that you're a biochemist and a researcher, and you've had, uh, you know, chemistry background, and you should look into the fact that the Rockefeller Foundation founded the very medical schools or the very schools that you studied at, uh, and actually moved the curriculum through Rita Zovier and other organizations, other uh, uh, holding companies for all of these publishing houses and print media and medical schools and sell in Lancet magazine and all of the, I mean, let's be real. This is the, this is how they do it. And so of course the people have power, much more power, but they are really hitting us hard in like every direction with fluoride, with drugs. I mean, ask your doctor, why should you have to ask your doctor? Shouldn't your doctor know? 
Think about it. Ask your doctor if uh, if uh, uh, oh, which what's the re a really bad one? Oh, let's ask your doctor if Orencia is right for you. Side effects may be cancer, but ask your doctor. It might be right for you. I mean, let's be real, everybody. This is a, this is like a mind controlled, incredible Project Mockingbird squared. They're just assaulting us from every direction, as you know. But getting into this couple of news stories that I thought were relevant, and, and some local news here in Torrington, Connecticut, and, uh, and in Connecticut generally. So we're making a progress getting uh, the information out and getting the truth out. And what we have here, uh, the first thing I'm going to go over is, again, look into this thing because, I mean, after all, Sheila Nevins was the producer of this. I mean, total control of opposition right there. Looking at exactly uh, talking about the Rockefellers and look into their inf look how who, who funded Ms. Magazine and yeah they were profitable in seven months or something. It's a great great documentary. But if you really know the truth behind uh, the whole women's lib movement, you'll find this to be even more insightful. So I, I recommend that you take a look at that. Uh, moving along, we have uh, the Buffett Rule, a sham debt boom crisis. Remember this whole thing. Uh, this is like a, a an article by Charles uh, Kramather. Kramer, and um, he, he wrote about this thing, and I'm looking to get others where we have uh, other articles regarding um, the fact that, yeah, this whole thing is ridiculous. I mean, these, these numbers, these taxation numbers, Biden uh, says the Romney rule is charged. They're all screaming about that Romney paid 30% income tax three times, uh, and all this junk between these rules of tax protection for the rich. Well, uh, the, the, this whole idea is the, saying the Buffett rule is a sham is really true because all of this, these people are all protected by, by uh, uh, tremendous uh, trusts and other uh, financial instruments that other asset hiding in instruments that the Rockefellers have perfected over generations. And Buffett is really just another mouthpiece like J.P. Morgan was a mouthpiece of the Rothschilds. I mean, there's no difference to this. And the same thing with Bill Gates, who, again, his parents uh, were, were uh, on the board. They're eugenists, just like he, uh, eugenicists. They were he, they were on the board of, uh, his father was on the board of Planned Parenthood, against founded by Rockefeller, Margaret Sanger, who was a Nazi-loving person. The Nazis loved her, and she was a racist. She, like, uh, she hated black people, and she wanted to, you know, to, to do problems, you know, to, to reduce the populations. Do you think just because World War II happened, and they said, okay, this will never happen again, that these people just went away? Do you really believe that? They just started to use more psychological ways to control the society, to understand this is critical, that this is how they do it. War is peace. I mean, I have a lot of good news here. So then again, going past this, taxing these people, ta raising raising the taxes, okay? And they're saying, well, tax more. The people that are, that are, are are really the job creators, honestly, the job creators, okay, are who they're attacking because they're collectivists. They just want to have their system in place, their corporations that they own and they have interest in, like BP and Core Exit B, same connections, okay, Halliburton, all of this whole thing with the Gulf oil spill. I mean, these connect these companies are connected. This is this is this was a uh, was was outed by, uh, you know, it's it's on record it's, that these, these are these are. They stole, they stole uh, money from people and destroyed their lives months before the, uh, the actual BP disaster. Months before, they had uh, put puts on their, on their stock holdings, the CEOs of the companies. I mean, they're criminals, and they're using, they're using extremely sophisticated ways of mind control and deception. But if you look and call them out, look at what they've done. It's the same thing with 9-11. Look at all the stuff that, look at the puts that happened in the airline industry. It's the same fucking thing over and over again. Excuse me for cursing, but it gets me so angry because people just, oh, you have to really understand. It's the same players always. It's always the same faces. So those people aside, okay, and I'll crumble their faces and I hope that they all go down because they're all fighting uh, for uh, enslavement of the world. They're fighting to, to serve their masters, who, whose intention is to depopulate the world. And that's on record so many places, I don't even know how to tell you. And how do you do that? Well, you do that with war, you do that with poison, you do that with having people want to kill each other and fight each other, you, you cause all these conflicts between blacks and whites and uh, Jews and Muslims, or whatever. You know, God in heaven, 
have mercy on us. We are so lost. Anyway, um, good thing. Now, I think Dan Malloy generally is, is, is a, just a globalist chill, another one that's just going to be doing whatever the, the establishment tells him to do. He is the governor of the state of Connecticut, where I reside here in Torrington. And um, I am behind him with this uh, idea that he has uh, for an education bill in the state. Uh, I've read it, I've gone through it, and there are actually quite a few people that are, you know, that are, are, are would be considered. Now, again, I'm not a, I'm not a Republican, okay? I Again, I, I, by party I am so that I can support Ron Paul uh, on April 24th when we have the primary. But on April 24th, after I vote for Ron Paul as a, uh, as a, in the primary, um, to hopefully have him uh, as a candidate, um, I will just switch my party back to Libertarian, which is what I am. So this was all just, again, a way to try to help him. Um, and we did have a crusade through We Are Change Connecticut. And actually, I know a lot of people uh, have actually done this for that purpose, because personally, I think the Republicans are just as bad as the Democrats. They are just as complicit in the evil uh, that we call the New World Order. Uh, it is just two wings of the same bird. And that bird is collectivism, the bird is uh, fascism, and that's what we're under. Uh, make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, we are, we are not a republic any longer. We are a fascist nation where the laws that have been written, Hitler wrote laws that were uh, less, uh, uh, I mean, really, when, I mean, maybe except for the racial purity laws, because they can't obviously get that through. But I mean, let's face it, we have the health care law with the death panels and all this other stuff. So, I mean, really is, everybody, wake up, please. I mean, again, I don't do this for my health. Um, in fact, it sickens me, and that's why I have to make these reports. But they're going to be brief, and I, I don't want to spend a lot of time. We do have a show again, 5 to 8 p.m. We are Change Connecticut, Joe Bannister, this evening. Please tune in, okay? Um, so, Malloy's got a good thing going in. It's informedradio.com, by the way, and that's on uh, also the simulcast on projectfreedom.ws. And the video uh, is streamed live at truthbroadcastnetwork.com. Um, so, M Malloy, I, I'm back. I back you on your education plan because we do, unfortunately, have a bunch of dumbed down, servile people that think that if they're either going to be a rap star or an or an athlete, uh, and you know, and it's just a very and you know, and then those that go to school they're get become indebted and getting degrees and things that are, are uselessness uh, and, and being left with. Uh, thousands and thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. Uh, certain, of course, certain uh, occupations and professions require this type of uh, further education. But for the mass population, just getting a degree is just another way for them to, again, bring the society down because it is not a good education or useful education. Um, that's what needs to change. So kudos to you on this one, uh, Mr. Malloy. And uh, if you listen to any of my show or the links that I send you and everything else, you know, uh, maybe you'll wake up to the new world order. You don't have to. I mean, come on. You're a wealthy man to begin with, right? Why sell out? Why sell your soul to the devil for a few measly, you know, pieces of gold? Or silver, actually. <laughs> um, let's say uh, we move on here. And interestingly enough, this is just how insanely corrupt everything is. I'm an NRA member, and I don't know why. I guess just because, I, you know, I think I, I, the more I think about the NRA, uh, you know, they're backing Romney because they, you know, they, they can't, uh, because Obama's, you know, they, they got to back somebody. So um, they won't back Ron Paul. They won't back that, no, but they'll back Romney. So once again, I think that uh, I did it more on principle, but, you know, they are, again, probably controlled opposition or something or... Why the hell would you go with this establishment clown who is not going to do anything to protect the rights of Americans to bear arms? And if you think that he is, you're, you're mistaken, okay? He is just another globalist, another paid-for shill. That's all he is. So, fuck you, Mr. Romney. Ron Paul, 2012. All right. So I don't care if I insulted anybody there because he is just as bad. Vote for Obama. If you vote for Romney, you're voting for Obama. It's like O Romney or Obama, whatever you want to call him, O Romney or, or uh, Obama. I mean, you could just put them together. It's the same package, ladies and gentlemen, with health care, right? Um, 
it's interesting. They got the Republicans all fighting with the religion thing. This is always a problem. And now you have all the, the right and the left and going into this whole thing with uh, interesting uh, subjects. And uh, the 60 Minutes guy died. Who asked the tough questions? Mike Wallace. Remember he died? Well, Mike Wallace, it's funny. I was watching. He was on that. He was sort of showing great disdain while he was listening to women uh, yell and basically curse him out curse all the people there at the, at the network out, and, and it looked like it was in Madison Square Garden or something during an event, political event, uh, for where, where Gloria Steinem was there and others, and, um, you know, again, this, like, misogynist thing, and it's, like, it's really funny, they make this guy out to be this, this pioneering thing, and, but really what it is, is he's just reading, he's just reading what they tell him to read, uh, it's the same thing back then, I mean, the interesting thing about it is they're all compartmentalized and don't realize that they're part of this whole cog that brought them to this place. It's very, very interesting, actually. Um, and it always seems to be the same. So it always seems to repeat itself. It's like a, it's just a, it's just a system that they've developed, like a selling system. Like, you know, um, you go one side of the street, knock on every door, talk to everybody you can, go on the next side of the street and do the same thing. I mean, that's a system, right? It's the same thing what they're doing here. In this case, it's a depopulation, a deindustrialization system designed to further enslave and take all the property rights and wealth of the individual away so they become dependent upon the state. I mean, that is what it is. So I really have uh, to say, I mean, Mike Wallace, you know, uh, everybody wants to praise you. I don't know. I find uh, I found some of the things that you have said and I found some of your reactions and everything else to be... Uh, suspect as far as uh, the understanding that uh, uh, this is a free democracy. If you want to call it a democracy, that's what they all say, democracy. We live in a free democracy. It's not a democracy, it's a republic. And we've been mind controlled to hear this word democracy. It is not a democracy. It has never been a democracy. It has always been a republic. However, these, you know, capitalists, and I have nothing against capitalism, but these people are actually oligarchs that are, that are like collectivists, that own many of the major corporations that have all the influence, want to destroy the small guy. Now, this is where I get back into the local news, because this is a couple of things I'm just going to get to. There's so much stuff. Um, uh, Ralph Nader actually wrote this piece, Selling Out Regulation. It was in the Torrington Register Citizen, and uh, that's the whole thing. you got all of these regulations that are designed to be in favor of the major corporations and be uh, making it difficult or, or against the smaller businesses, the, the, the smaller farms or smaller family businesses to maintain their operations. And this is going on nationwide, actually worldwide. This is the new world order. This is the collectivism in, uh, in its uh, entirety. Now, it's interesting because you have all of these people that are out of work and looking for work, yet you make it virtually impossible for, uh, for uh, a new person to start a business. And now, of course, because it's election time, uh, Obama's letting people drill, and they're going to do give money to small business pe people that want to start their business, own businesses. I mean, it's all horseshit, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, use your own uh, intellect, your own resources of your brain and thinking, and you'll know. Come on, they're liars. Now you can't just accept it. That's why I do this. You can't accept this. These people are liars. That's why you should tune into us and move our station along. Informedradio.com, ProjectFreedom.ws. We have to get people out there to know what we're doing. Truth Broadcast Network, TV. We have to spread this information of truth or there'll be no uh, country left and we will be under a dictatorship. Worse than Hitler. Worse than anyone could ever imagine. Okay. Uh, basically, we have um, somebody that's not going to stop calling because they just don't get the picture that the phone's numbers they answer the phone. Here in New York, we in Connecticut, excuse me, I live in Connecticut, um, there's a few things that have happened, as I said, that were very positive. A uh, man uh, got prison for child prostitution. He was transporting girls between states. He was 24 years old from Norwalk, Connecticut. He was sentenced to only 33 months in prison, which is unbelievable. But at the prostitution ring, among other things, transported two minor girls between Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. Giovanni Vasquez, known as Screech, was uh, also sentenced by Judge Janet B. Hall in District U.S. District Court in Bridgeport to five years of court supervised uh, court, court supervision upon his release. 
He was charged with transportation of an individual with intent to engage in criminal sexual activity. Look at how little slaps on the wrist these get, these people get. It's terrible. It's terrible. Because again, there is a very, very vast child sex trafficking uh, network going on uh, that is uh, in ma many cases, uh, even though they, they, you know, they just like in everything else, you, like they have real investigations and real people doing hard work. And then they have these people that are that are told to look the other way to certain people and certain things and certain operations. This is how they operate. They get into the highest levels at the highest places in whichever particular operation, if it's the child sex operation or the banking criminals or the, with the Federal Reserve uh, or, or, uh, or, or the drug trafficking, it's all at the highest levels. Certain people have a pass. Certain people are the ones they listen to. They run the show. Okay? We have to get this information out. It's critical. So at least this bastard got taken off the streets for a little while. And uh, I'm just happy that he's gone. Now, going into this other thing is, interestingly enough, uh, in New Haven, Ronaldino, uh, who was a basically, a, a, again, somebody that uh, became uh, involved in this uh, sexual abuse of children, um, was was pretty much uh, showing up. He was a 63-year-old man showing up with young girls, and he got caught Nicar in Nicaragua. But he was in he was actually a New Haven uh, resident. And a month later, Nicaraguan police charged Lino uh, with a repeat sex offender, originally from Massachusetts, with raping a 14-year-old Nicaraguan girl. And it's just this is just such an incredible thing that people don't understand. They, they I know they show a show on TV. I know there's Dateline, and I know they they actually have on CNN a show about this, but it's just not targeting the, pro the, 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 the it's targeting, um, it's not showing the, the, the people that are doing it. It's not going, it's, that's what we're doing. I'm explaining this to people like myself. We're explaining the truth that it is not some outside organization. It is internal, unfortunately. There is internal influence and it, it is, the CIA is complicit in it. The FBI is complicit in it. Ted Gunderson was was complicit in it on record caught. Okay, child sex trafficking of children, the people that the things he was fighting to protect caught, actually promoting it, looking the other way. This is what we're talking about. This is why it's so important that everybody gets this information and shares it with everybody that they know, and not let these criminals get away with it, because there's more things that are going to happen. And you have to understand, if you know something. You have to say something. And it's not about terrorism. It's about really doing the right thing. Now, what do we know? We know criminals have hijacked our government. We have to take it back. Sick, sexual, perverted psychopaths. The Franklin Affair. Look at, look at history. Research these people. Research the Bohemian Grove and the sick stuff that goes on there. Research the satanic rituals. Research the truth, and you will find it, because it is real, and it's there. And I hope that everybody understands how important it is to get this information out, especially about the children. It's just unbelievably sick. It's just unbelievably sick. And they target them for not only sexual abuse, but ritual abuse. Young boys needed for horrific rituals. I can't, I, I can't even go into it, but it's true. And I swear, it, it, I'm a, I, I, I research this so deeply, but I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm asking you to do the same thing. And then if you're, if you're, if you're a human being with sympathy and empathy and, and love for the world and love for your fellow man and love for your children and your wife and your spouse and your family, and you learn what I learned. What would you do? What are you going to do? You're going to be quiet? I, I, does that make you a, a better person? W what does that make you? Passive? What, what does that mean? Think about it. This is Howard Nima on mflungradio.com, uh, truthvideobroadcast.tv, projectfreedom.ws, and of course, We Are Change Connecticut. Thank you for listening.